Okay, boys and girls, we are about to unbox the Framework 13 Do-It-Yourself Edition. Okay, I admit that this is not a genuine, complete, and brand new unboxing. I have already opened the box and looked inside. And I have made a checklist of all the things to be sure I got everything, and I did. Okay, so here we have it. This is the input cover. The bezel, the power adapter, some expansion cards, some more. Now, these are the other expansion cards. I put them in the box myself. They weren't like that. And this is the computer itself, I believe. Yes. And this is the accessories. And what's in here? Uh, oh, some little goodies. Some little goodies. Little goodies. Uh, Oh, we got stickers, more stickers. What's this? Uh, some kind of quick, quick start guide. We got there, and look at that—a little patch to sew on, and that's all in the little kit here. And so we're going to put these things back in here. So we're not going to need them all at first. I don't think we need just this. So we'll put this away somewhere and get it later when we need it because at first all we need I think is the computer and what's in here some more stuff oh, okay so what do we have here we have another another port let's put that with the other ports <coughs> we have a, a hard disk well a SSD I should say a couple of memory and look at this, a little, funny little Torx. It's a Torx 5 screwdriver and a hex and a Phillips on the other end. I probably posit, posited posi drive and a little prying thing. All right, so we have all these little things. Let's put them inside. And now we look at the at the insulation guide and we we opened it up we got our little things okay now we're going to look at our computer we're going to follow the instructions we're going to follow the instructions and do like it says and so here we have it 13 generation intel core it's exactly that a i7 1360p with a center france it seems to be said on this and uh, let's try to remove this without destroying it completely. I don't know if that's possible. Now we'll try. Because we'd like to keep our codes safe for future reference if needed. Not that I, I uh, no, this is not coming off very well. Well, we'll try it though, see if we can do a little better. It doesn't look like it's going to make it all the way off, but maybe. So far, so good. Up, 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 up. We reached the end of the thing here, and now we can do it. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. And now we can see how this can come apart. All right, open it all the way. Okay. All right, now. Here is our frame top, framework laptop ready to go. Now, what's the first thing we should do? I don't know. Well, it says, open the laptop as pictured and you'll find clear protective feed. You can simply be lifted off. So we're going to open it as shown, I guess, like this. I'm not sure. Wow, look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Okay, the clear protective sheet is made of PET and it's recyclable. So we're going to put this in the recycling. And we look at it and it looks pretty nice, huh? Pretty nice, pretty nice. What's the first thing we do? We have to insert the memory modules. Okay, so where do they go? In here. Memory. Memory. 
And here's our memory, so let's put them in. There's one. And this little slot goes in like so. Mm -hmm. The other way. Okay. Perfect. Seems. Let's put another one in. Okay, like so. Up oh, the other way, obviously. Oh no, it was right the first time. Okay, put it in. Click it down. Cover it up. Is that what it says to do? Look at the movie here. Uh huh. Yeah, that looks like it's about right. Click it down, and there it's done. Okay, install the SSD. Okay, so here we have the SSD. We need a, uh, a little knife to cut it. A little knife, we're cutting it. Okay, our SSD. And here it is, beautiful. goes here. We can use the framework screwdriver to undo the, the Torx nut, Torx screw, put it in like this. And it's not going in very well. Voila. And then we put it down. Tighten it up with our little screw here. Mm -hmm. Not too tight. Okay, that's done. Then, don't over tighten. Now we have to do the bezel. Open the bezel, open the framework laptop bezel, 180 degrees to attach the bezel. Okay, the framework laptop is open, but not 180 degrees. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now it's open at 180 degrees. Now we got to get the bezel. Here's our bezel box. We're going to open it with uh, the orange tag and it came right off. Okay. And now we have our bezel which is coming out. Looks like it's pretty secure. Now what do they say to do with the bezel? What do they say to do with it? Is you have to remove, the, align the corners of the bezel to the display. So which way does it go? It goes like this, I guess, huh? I guess it goes like that, yeah. So we have to take off the uh, little tapey things. A lot of course the main bezel attached by magnets should you stick in place. Install the install on the bezel, remove the only the liner pieces on the bottom of the bezel to expose the adhesive. Uh, so it's got adhesive and and magnets. I guess the magnets aren't good enough. Okay, we're gonna take this off delicately. I see how you take it off like this. So you take, lift it up to here. Lift it up here and then it comes off. Three, four. Okay, and then align. Make sure that all the corners and edges of the bezel are fully in contact with the top cover. The corners are not aligned. Carefully lift the part. Okay, so we have to line it up and then put it on properly. 
So let's try to do it. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. That looks perfect actually. Now it looks perfect. Okay, let's take these little pieces of paper and throw them away. Okay, now it's done. Now what's next? Install the input cover. Gently place the input co cover keyboard side down. Keyboard side down, the bottom cover is indicated in the image. Mm -hmm. Note the orientation of the input cover matters. Study the first image and step to ensure that you are properly attaching the cover. Okay, I'm not sure how that what that means, but let's look. So all this stuff is finished. We don't need this anymore. The input cover kit. So this is our framework input cover kit. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we got an, oh, the tag again, orange. Remove it. Open it up. The input cover. Box. It's very well boxed. I mean, this is a seriously well boxed laptop. There's no question about it. It's very well prepared. And here's our, oops. Okay, here's our input cover. This is the keyboard. So I would assume that the keyboard goes like this, huh? Because it's a computer after all. So here's the keyboard. Let's put this away. Now, what does it say? It says to line it up like this. Line it up like this. Uh -huh. It wasn't so well inserted, I guess, the bevel. Like this. We have it like this in the picture. Okay. They have it like this in the picture. Mm -hmm. Now what? Come gently place the input cover side down on the bottom cover as indicated in the image. The cover should be about an inch and a half away from the bottom of the main board. An inch and a half away from the bottom of the main board. Okay, which is whatever an inch and a half is. Mm-hmm. And then in orientation and input cover, to locate the loop end of the touchpad cable and insert your finger into it. The loop end and insert your finger into it. I see. Like so. Connect the touchpad cable. Using slight force, connect the touchpad cable by aligning it to the socket of the main board. You should hear it click into place. So where is the socket of the main board? That's this right here. So I put my finger in here. I advance this and I should hear it click into place. So here we go. Clicked into place. Perfect. Okay. Like so, yes. Place once properly connected. Let's make this verify. Okay, that's good. Make sure the touchpad side of the cable is fully inserted. The touchpad part of the cable, this is here, is fully inserted. Yes, it's fully inserted. Okay. Cable should be inserted far enough that the white line almost touches the receptacle. The white line almost touches the receptacle. Yes, it does. Okay. If it is not inserted far enough, you'll need to push it in. Okay, place the cover back on. Flip the input cover over, the bottom cover, so the keyboard is facing up, and attach it to the bottom cover by aligning the top and bottom edges. Okay, well, let's try that. And now it doesn't work. How can I do this? Oh, yeah, it does. Align the top and bottom edges. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't sit quite flat. That's correct. It says it doesn't sit quite flat. The cover on the magnet should fit into one of these, but if you have any restrictions, simply screw the fasteners back into place. 
Now the fasteners were not in place, so we have to screw the fasteners back into place one at a time. There's one. Screw the fasteners back into place. Okay, I'm doing it. There's two. Let's try this one. Try this one. Let's try not to scratch it as we're tightening it up. Not too much. You don't want to over tighten. Put this one in. Okay, the fasteners are down. All right, using the T5, make sure not to over tighten. I did not over tighten. That's correct. <laughs> Insert the expansion cards of your choice to the end of the things. Okay, let's try some expansion cards. Which ones do we need? Well, we have a lot of expansion cards. Which ones do we want? Well, we want, certainly want internet. This is my Ethernet ca expansion card, so let's put that in. Let's put, close it up and see. Now let's put them in. Let's put an Ethernet one in. Okay. What's this? Display port. Let's not do that. There's a USB C. Well, let's put a USB C in. We certainly need that for power. How, how else would we power the thing? USB C. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's this? This is micro SD. Eh, we don't really need that yet. Display pack. Okay, what else we got here? What else we got? Come on. Come on, babies. Oops. Okay, so we got USB A. Ethernet, we've Ethernet, we already had an Ethernet. This was also a USB-C. HDMI, ah, I put HDMI. I want Ethernet, of course. I'm sorry, I thought that was the Ethernet one. This is H this is the Ethernet one. Mm-hmm. Mm, let's put the other side. I want it to be on this side. I want uh, HDMI. I would have preferred on this side. Well, USB-C. Um, hmm. Well, let's put it back here. We don't know for sure. It'll be okay like that. USB-A for other accessories. Like the up. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here's USB-A. Okay. And this is other stuff. USB-C. USB A. Okay. At least we don't need these. Four. Okay. Okay, those can all go over here. Okay, get ready to power it on. Next QR code, the expansion card must be facing down. Facing the laptop, you have your picture power core, then the USB C expansion card. Open the lid and press the power on button. Okay, so this is not very elegant, huh? The power adapter. So we have our power adapter here. Open it up. Hopefully, it's the correct one. It is this. With our power adapter ready to go. Good, good, yep, yeah, it looks okay. Use USB C to USB C. Mm -hmm. USB C to USB C. Oh, it's a, it's a long power cable. Wow, it's very long for USB C. I don't think I've ever seen such a long USB C cable. Okay, this is nice. Let's straighten it out a bit.
Okay, USB-C goes in here. Power. This is your standard uh, three-prong power plug. Put it in here. We don't need this anymore. Okay, here we go. Put it in. It's in. We don't need this. Well, we don't need it. Okay, now we got it plugged in. Open the lid and push the power button. The light, the blue light came on. It works. That looks good. Power button is on. First boot will take a while, it says, until the logo comes on the screen. Well, it certainly is taking a while, but we're waiting patiently. Here we have our operating system ready to install. <clears throat> okay, the first boot is taking a while. Effectively, it takes a while. I guess it's uh, installing itself in all kinds of fun and exciting ways. Oh, there he goes. Default boot device is missing. Boot inside. Insert or cover media or hit any key. Select the boot manager to choose a new boot media. To Okay, let's insert the boot media. Let's insert the boot media. Okay. Frameworks. This selection to, will direct system to continue the boot process, boot manager, this selection will take you to the boot manager, boot system from a file or device, administer secure boot, set up utility. Okay, so how do we do this? You have been 224, essentially full instructions out of the box. Okay, step one, preparing. Okay, we've done all this. Prepare, install, installing Ubuntu part one. Select the keyboard. Okay, boot manager. Let's boot from a file or device. Okay, shall we boot from that device? Yes. Let's see if it boots. We don't really know what we're doing here. We're just going to try it any old way and see what happens. Framework laptop booting. Okay. X Ubuntu safe graphics. OEM install from manufacturers. Boot from next volume. And try or install Ubuntu. Let's try or install Ubuntu. There we go. Okay, so we're now let's turn off this light. I don't think we need this anymore. We're no longer building stuff. Now we're trying. This is X Ubuntu, by the way. This is not just simple Ubuntu. This is X Ubuntu with the XFCE desktop, which is what I prefer. Okay, and it looks like it's uh, <laughs> stuck. It's stuck. That's not very good. I hope it will be unstuck soon. Uh -huh. We got little things up here we should take off, I guess. Yeah, I think we are, uh, I think we're stuck. Yeah, I would say that we're stuck and this is not booting. So we're going to have to uh, come back to this at a later date. But in any case, you've seen the un unboxing, very easy. Total time, maybe a half an hour, not much more. And that was because I was giving demonstrations. Probably would have taken a lot less time if I'd done it on my own. You see there's a little thing here that we can remove. A little plastic protective cover for the, the camera. And another one for, I don't know what, two webcams, I guess. I don't know why there's two. Yeah, Ubuntu failed, so 
I'm sorry, we're going to have to come back to that. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, post any questions. I'll be happy to answer. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. It's not failed. It looks maybe it has not failed. What is this? What is this? Something is going on. I can see the little thing turning around. Very small, but it's turning. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was, uh, I was a little bit premature with my failure. So here we go. We'll just let it run. We'll just let it run. Let's see what happens. There's no response to the uh, touchpad. Yeah, this, the Ethernet connector is uh, not great. I have to say, that's not exactly what I expected. I may just go with my USB-A to USB-3 adapter. USB-A 3 adapter. Rather than this Ethernet card, which is kind of shabby. Yeah, it's, something's happening. Okay, so here we go. All right, so what language we want? We want to uh, try it. We want to try it. Okay, English. Try Xubuntu. Did this work? Oh yeah. Oh well, wait. Still, it's still uh, busy. Still busy. You can try Xubuntu without making any English. Uh, dispositive. Ah, uh, why is it speaking Spanish? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go back. Why is it speaking Spanish? I do not know. It says English, not Spanish. Welcome. English. Click. Try Xubuntu. Click. Uh-huh. We're trying Xubuntu. I prefer to look at it this way rather than install it directly, just to have some hope that it will work. Um, in the meantime, we're going to get our Ethernet cable ready. Wi Fi is available. Yeah, we're not going to use the Wi-Fi right off. We're going to use the cable connection. That way, we're for sure, we're sure to have a good uh, a good connection. We have a cable. Let's use it. Let's move a bit, and we have the cable. So let's use it. Mm -hmm. Connection established. Okay, you are now connected to wired connection one. Good. I don't know what's going on. I have no no mouse. Oh, go. There we go. Okay. Well, let's see what the whisker menu does. It's kind of slow and and not very uh, responsive, huh? Let's try a web browser and go to a web browser. Failed to execute default web browser. Do not show this message again. Why not? We failed to execute the default. Oh, this is not working very well, good old Xubuntu. This is unusual. I'm expecting, uh, I expect better performance normally. Let's try Firefox. Firefox is not installed. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's try the web browser. Again. Okay. Skip this step. Yeah. 
Welcome to Firefox. Now we don't care about any of that. Let's just go to it. It's not very responsive. Let's try just going to Google.com. Oh yeah, the keyboard is not configured. Google, let's just go to Google for let's let's while we're at it, let's try to set up our keyboard settings. Uh-huh. Come on. Settings. Keyboard. You know what? Let's let's try using a mouse, a real mouse, rather than a touchpad, because we're going to be suffering with this forever. We have a mouse here. Is there a battery in it? There is. Let's try using. Uh, do we have another USB A? We do not. Hmm. Well, we can't do that. Layout. Generic layout. Add. Add. We can't add. View system defaults. Add a keyboard. <sighs> We're going to add one. Okay. It's a bit slow here. French. French. Okay. it up. Okay, close. Let's, ref let's try it. Let's go back here and see if we can click, click something here. Google, what should we search for? Oh, we can search for framework laptop. How do you like that? Frame Ah, uh, but no, it didn't take the keyboard. Oh. oh. Well, it doesn't like the keyboard. Let's, what's going on here? Let's go to keyboard. Why is it not the French keyboard? All right. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Let's try, let's try turning on a Bluetooth device and using them. The other mouse. We can. Let's go for Bluetooth. Bluetooth on. Make discoverable devices. Okay. Devices. Bluetooth devices, search for one. Search for a Bluetooth device, searching, searching, searching. <coughs> search for a Bluetooth device, I said. <laughs> well, this is not working very well.
didn't find the Bluetooth device. That's not right. Something is not right. Well, this doesn't work. And you know what? This is all a pain in the ass. This is not great. Let's just install the system to your hard disk and who cares, okay? Let's just install Ubuntu and let's let's get on with it. Had enough of this. Welcome. You may wish to read the release notes. English. Keyboard layout is not English, it's France. French, 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 French. French, French, let's continue. Hello, normal installation, download updates while installing, install third-party graphics and Wi-Fi and additional media formats. This is obviously subject to license. Yes, we want to install all that stuff. And we want something else. Oh, no, we want to go back. It went ahead without asking me. I don't like this. What's the story here? Let's go back. Install, configure, secure, boot. Mm, no, I don't want secure boot. Okay, now we can go ahead, do the installation. Erase disk and install. Warning, this was delete. Yes. Okay. If you continue, the changes listed below will be written to disk. Okay. Okay. Continue. Time zone is Paris. That's correct. Your user, your name, your name is my name, my computer is called called what we're going to call it framework, I like that, oops frame work dash 15th generation choose a password okay you know what you know what we're going to uh, choose a password here but we're not going to let you, you see it I'm sorry I'm not showing you my password so we're going to uh, we're going to put a little uh, a little uh, screen a screen on the phone while I type my password. I'm sorry about that. I'm not going to let you see it. Creating a password here. Okay, we're just letting it do it. Who am I? We're waiting for the screen to finish, and when it is, we'll go back to the movie, and you can see the rest of it. Okay. But it's taking a bit of a t long time. That's a bit disappointing, still. But we'll see. 
hopefully this is, will all be fine once we get back to uh, normal operation. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm still waiting for it to uh, connect. Uh, nothing is happening at all. Now I have no no mouse, no nothing. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it all failed or, or what. But we'll just wait for a few more seconds and see what happens. Oh, there we go. Join the community. So we're back. We're back, and you can see everything again. Join the community. We're now unpacking the Chromium browser for AMD64. There is no mouse sensitivity. We have can't... Uh, can't make it do anything else. We're unpacking the Chromium browser. Completely removed something common we can't we don't have much mouse sensitivity here during the install that's a shame okay I'll just let it run and you can watch this or not skip ahead if you like i understand this is not very exciting not for me either but it has to be done in the meantime, I can put away my little boxes of stuff. Uh, this is the, I believe this is the, I don't know which one is which. This is the Ethernet. Are they all different? I guess they are all different, huh? Some of them are the same. These are all the same. Though this is the only one that's different is the Ethernet one. So let's put it back in here. Yeah, I would say, uh-oh, installation complete. Restart now. Yeah, how do you like that? That was fast. That was really fast. That was unbelievably fast. I didn't even have time to put away my little boxes of uh, expansion cards. Okay. Now. Restart now. We're waiting for it to restart. Yeah, come on. Come on. We're waiting for it to restart. I don't see it restarting. But we're going to let it go because we've seen that it takes a little bit longer than we thought. So we're just going to let it restart and see what happens. Mm, sorry if this is really boring because it, it is really boring. But uh, we have nothing I can do about it. We just have to let it run. Let it run, baby. Letting it run and letting it run. And I don't see anything happening. Power light is on. The Ethernet is blinking. The green one is, blink is on and the orange one is blinking. I think that's correct. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. So we're trying to install Ubuntu. Yeah, we're not following any of these instructions. Yeah, we're not recommending. We're not following any of these. Uh, it was failing because of uh, kept on, uh, it looks like uh, it doesn't it work. Okay. Okay. Well, we're just trying.
Give it a few more minutes. Of course, there's no noise since it's a solid state disc. We don't get, we can't see if the disc is turning. This is a nice little screwdriver, I have to say. I must admit, it's not bad at all. I wonder if they have other, other bits you can put into them. I doubt it. So we're still waiting here for Ubuntu to boot, but uh, it's not booting very fast. Maybe we should just give up and start it manually. You try that. Manual restart. Let's try it. Well, that didn't work. Holding the button down for a long time, maybe. That will turn it off, hopefully. Not turning off. Oh, there we go. It turned it off. All right, let's try a, let's try a hard reboot. Okay, there we go. So now we have, in theory, Ubuntu is installed. X Ubuntu is installed. And it should reboot. And we'll see, but it's, uh, I don't see anything. Oh, there we go. Framework. So we have the boot. Lo the boot logo. We have this thing saying there's a TPM interrupt error. Oh. Up, 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 X Ubuntu is starting up, starting up. Up, oh, there we go. Let's not look at my password. I'm going to put the little thing back on here again. So you don't see my password. Logged in. Okay, and there we are. We're logged in. We got good connectivity. Let's see if we can get the other uh, device, start Bluetooth. Shall Bluetooth start we get enabled automatically? Yes. Let's search for a device. Now we turn this on. Switch up. Oh, Chromium. No, that's not it. That's another laptop. We don't want that. Searching for a device. Searching for a device. Searching for a device. Let's search again because probably didn't catch it. And this thing is not appearing. Oh, it doesn't detect my mouse. Oh, what kind of stuff is this? This is not right. Oh, 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 search again. What's going on? I want to find it. Oh, Pebble Mouse. There we go. Okay. Pebble Mouse, add the device. Connect. Connected. Okay. We on there? Is it on? No, I guess not. I don't know. Nothing's happening. Hmm. Hmm. Pebble mouse. I want to connect. Device. Connecting. <coughs> okay, we're connecting. I don't see anything happening. It's blinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not. I don't know. Bluetooth devices, it's not connecting. Search. Pebble mouse. Yes, this is what I want to connect. Device. No, it doesn't connect. It won't connect. Control click. Pebble mice connected. Yeah, I don't see it connected. I don't see anything uh, happening here, baby. I don't see any mouse action. Oh, there we go. Connected. Receive serial saying too much. Blink quality 100%. Transmit 100 very high. Uh, yeah, your Ubuntu experienced an internal error. Send, uh, go ahead, send it. Remember this in the future. Don't send, uh, don't send, who cares? Now, is it working? Nope. 
Nope, it's not working. Okay, connect, disconnected, oh, disconnected. Pebble Mouse is disconnected. I want it to connect. Oh. Ah. Audio and input profiles on Pebble Mouse. What the hell is that? Devices, adapters, okay, Bluetooth adapter, devices, pebble mouse, Device, info, trust, yes, we want to trust it, and yes, uh, pair, yes, we want to pair it, we can't, info, address type, connected, okay, that's all correct, good, and now we want to connect, connect. Yeah, as we see, uh, a lot of things are not quite user-friendly in the Linux world still, which is sad. But it's still better than any of the other worlds. It's still better than any of the other worlds. So let's see if it, uh, if it can connect. It's not, it doesn't seem to want to connect. Oh, there we go. We have a mouse. We have a mouse at last. All right. So now we have an operating system. And we have some stuff. Yeah, we have an operating system. And we have uh, and some maybe Wi-Fi. Who knows? Let's see if we can uh, open a terminal and try to update. Hmm. Update, okay. <laughs> Don't send update. Yeah, there's a lot of errors here. Pseudo app update. No password, sorry. I'm not going to show you my password. downloading a lot of stuff. We have a very fast internet connection here, so this should download and install very quickly. Now what about what about um, the lo what about the uh, there is no fingerprint reader. You want to part four, connect your online accounts, install you want to part three, choose installation type, want to install it is completely done. Once you boot, you pump the login, installing on default, and then your preferred selections, installing on default 6, choose fingerprint login, you don't have a fingerprint. This is for 13 generation update your Ubuntu packages, install recommended OEM kernel, now recommend a new OEM kernel, work around during the best to spend battery line, blah, blah, blah. copy and paste below into a terminal. Uh huh. Now, how are we going to do that? We have to do the. Uh, the firmware, let's make sure the BIOS were running, so we have to copy and paste. So let's go on to a, uh, once this is finished, we're going to go on to the web browser and go to the framework website. Yeah, let's do that while it's happening even. So we're going to go to framework, framework, laptop, 13, I'll refuse. All right, Framework Laptop uh, 13. Okay, we want to go to the, okay, reject a ticket, support, support. Community.
community set up an upgrade framework here is quick setup guide go here installing Linux is at the end installing Linux Ubuntu okay now at the very end of this we have a thing for troubleshooting we don't want to troubleshoot we want to just copy this let's make it a little bigger you can actually see it This is for 11th generation only. No, we don't want this. For 11th generation only. We want 13. I saw something for 13. This is for 13 generation. For, where is the 13th gen? How come I don't have the same page? Click here for the 13th generation. Copy and place this into a terminal. Update your engine's install. Install the recommended OIC, now recommended. You know, disable all assistance so your brightness keys work. Enable, this will, okay. Browse the activity of going on over that terminal. Press the enter keyword and stuff. Okay, so we do this. Okay, we did all that. Is that working? Yeah. Okay, now we want to do some of the other stuff. Apt update, we want to install the, uh, okay, we want to install the OEM kernel. I'm sorry to say we have to make a pause. Okay, we're back. We just installed the uh, OEM kernel, and now we're going to uh, enable the headset mic input according to these instructions here. I hope it really works. This is all a lot of stuff I'm not sure about. Okay. Uh, sorry, I have to hide the password again. Okay. Unable to locate package options, SND, it didn't work. Okay, that didn't work. App does not have a stable command line interface. Use with caution in scripts. It didn't work. Okay, enable improved fractional scaling support for Ubuntu's GNOME environment using Wailerd. Uh, I'm not using that. So, uh, disable the ALS sensor so that your brightness keys work. What is this? That doesn't work. Oh, so a lot of these things are, are not going to happen because I have to... Uh, 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 no, we have to install Emacs. It's not installed. sudo apt. Install Emacs. Okay, we're installing Emacs. Uh huh. Oh, now we have to do. Uh, uh, so we have to edit sudo 
sudo emacs slash etc slash default slash grub okay you have to add this to the thing to it what do we want to add to it grub command line I have to add that to it oh, we're going to put in a comment saying as per framework as per frame work manual setup like that's kind of like C sudo apt update grub Okay, and now we have to do a workaround for the suspended battery life. Append the following grub command line and then describe a flash. This is an APC parameter and helps ensure compatibility, so we have to put this one into it also. I should have done that all together. And do it again. Alright, splash. Is there anything else that we want to put in here? Are they going to do it again? Suit update grub, g edit. Okay, we can do update grub. Okay, so update grub. Okay, and then we want to do uh, slash etc network manager power save comp, control C, sudo emacs. Control should V. Uh huh. Wi Fi power say Wi Fi change three to a two. Okay. Okay, we did all those things, but now some of them didn't work. The mic echo, uh, pseudo T, da, da, da. so that doesn't work. Pseudo so org mother, is it fractional support for Gnome's environment using Wayland? Are we using Wayland? Uh, I don't know. We'll try that and see what happens. Unsafe paste. Paste. No such schema. Okay, so it doesn't work. Some of these things are not don't apply to what I'm doing. Anyways, we have all this stuff working. Now let's try to set up the Wi-Fi maybe. Uh, well, we have to hide the Wi-Fi password. We don't want this. Sorry. Okay. Setting up the Wi-Fi, I'm trying. Okay, so that's done. We connected to the Wi-Fi. Now, what else do we need here? Anything else? Uh, um. Okay, I think that's about ready. I think this is our new laptop and it looks like it's ready to go. Let's try uh, closing this. So let's, sh shall we disable the, uh, install now, and we saw on the updates. Restart later, terminal boot, okay. And, uh, sending update. Okay. Recently used.
Okay, that's done. Everything is good here. All right, we'll do some more installation later. Let's try a restart and see what happens. See how long it takes to restart. Uh, restart. Oh, we still have the USB key in, so that's a little bit of an issue. Pulling is, uh, it failed. There was an error there. I don't know what the error was. I have to catch it later. Okay, the password. Uh, sorry. Sorry for this again. And we're ready, up and running. Let's try see what happens if we disconnect the, uh, the Ethernet cable. Do we go immediately to a Wi-Fi connection? Um, I see that this did not reconnect. So the uh, so the uh, the Bluetooth is not reconnecting automatically. I don't understand why that is. Why does it not connect automatically? It should be connected. I don't understand why Bluetooth the mouse doesn't connect. That's not right. The mouse doesn't connect automatically. Well, that's not right. Okay, let's eject the uh, let's eject the uh, drive. All right, let's try another reboot and see if the mouse crew connects. Let's try a full shutdown. Let's try a full shutdown. Shutdown. A shutdown, a full shutdown from scratch. So now we're powered off. The blue light's out. The Ethernet is not connected. Let's try a power on and see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, okay, 13 seconds, oops, sorry, that was a mistake, that was incorrect anyway, and so, so we have a problem in that the, uh, the Bluetooth does not reconnect automatically. This is an issue already. I don't understand why this is an issue, but it is. It doesn't make sense to me. Oh, now it did. You just have the Pebble Mouse 100%. Ah, it doesn't work right. It works almost right. Okay. Well, there we go. Anyways, that's about it. It looks like we got it to work, and it's pretty good, uh, pretty fast, and uh, we'll uh, continue playing with it later.